Hello and welcome. Hey, so I'm Laura. I'm a Canva creator and Canva creator ambassador for the UK. I'm a total tech geek. I love Canva. It's fantastic for small businesses and I'm using my channel to help small businesses learn and understand and utilize Canva for their own business. But this video is a fun video. I've just got something fun I want to show you today. I've been playing around with creating shadows behind letters um, and spelling out words and I just want to show you something fun that I have created. It's a great little thing to have play with and you may be able to use it within your social graphics for your business. So I'm going to head over to my screen and I'm going to show you what I've done. Okay, so this is what we're going to be creating. So you can see we've got these cool letters that are all uh, mismatched all over the place, but they've got this shadow that brings them forward, makes them look like they are physical letters that you could possibly pick up. How do we do this? So first of all, I'm going to go to the home screen and I'm going to start from the beginning. So we actually want to create a design. I'm going to go for a basic Instagram post. I want just a blank square for my letters. Now, I chose the words thank you. Just a simple phrase, um, nothing too complicated. And I'm going to go for the words thank you again. So we need a text box. I've added a text box and I've just added the letter T into my text box, centralized it. We're going to use this as our basis. So we need to choose a font. Um, Archivo Black, that's a really good funky font. So yeah, we'll go with that one. I'm going to make it nice and big. We want to change the color because I want it to be white. I want to put this on a colored background, but you can have any color you want at all. So I'm going to change it to white and it's disappeared. We are now going to go over to the effects section. Ha 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 ha. And this is where it starts to get interesting. I'm going to add a shadow. So I've clicked on add a shadow. It's currently white. So I'm going to change the color to a gray and you can begin to see the letter coming back. Um, I want it to be a nice and blurred shadow. And I want it to be deep so I can actually see the shadow. So I've up to the transparency. I've upped the blur. So I've got this nice blur in the background. The direction you can change if you want, as you see, if I do this, it moves it around the letter, but I'm gonna have it just off center on the, on the one side. And then I've got offset, which will bring it across the letter as well. So I can pull it further out if I want. I don't want it too far out. So I'm just going to, you can play with these controls. It's entirely up to you. So now I've got my T. This is the letter I'm going to use. I need to duplicate the page. I've got my settings preset. So I don't want to. I don't want to delete this and have to restart again. So I just want to change this for an H. Duplicate the page. And then next is an A. You can see where I'm going with this. An N. And a K. And then we want a Y. an O and a U. So you have to have a letter per page. So now we've got thank you spelt out one letter per page. This is where you may need pro to do this because you need to remove the background or you can remo use remove.bg, um, which is a website that will also help remove backgrounds. But remove background in Canva is brilliant. Okay, so leave it as PNGs, <clears throat> transparent background. We do need this, all pages download. We need to download all pages. Once that's downloaded, awesome. I'm gonna add a blank page because this is where we want to create our design. So I've now got my 
downloads opening up and I want to go to uploads because now as you can see I've been playing with this I want to upload here we go these are the letters that we've just downloaded highlight the lot and open them up in your download section I've been having a play with different types of fonts with this just because it's pretty awesome Okay, so we let them download. And we've got T-H-A-N-K-Y-O-U, right. So I'm gonna add them all in one hit, T-H-A-N-K-Y-O-U in order. I'm gonna highlight the whole lot by dragging my mouse across, reduce the size. I can do the whole lot in one go because I wanna get thank you across the page here. So now, I have individual letters that I can now put on my page and you can see already how these are going to look. Let's get the, it's all about layers. <clears throat> there we go. Thank you. So if I highlight the whole lot and just reduce them slightly so that they fit on my page. I love that feature, being able to highlight the whole lot. You can now move them, shuffle them around, put them wherever you want. But you've got that shadow in the background. You can change the background color. Darker color, you're losing your shadow. You want a lighter color. So you've got pink, so you can still see the shadow, just a hint of pink. There's a yellow. Again, you've still got that shadow. You can't change the colors of the letters because they are technically an image now, but you can change them before you download them. So you can change the colors um, before you download, and then you have this option. So there we go. I like the fact that they are not all level with each other. I love that they are mismatched and wonky and all over the place it just brings out that shadow so much more so there we go i hope you've enjoyed that i thought that was a really fun thing to do i think it's something that would look really good with a business name or just a thank you on a thank you card that's that was my initial thought when i created the thank you section so if you've enjoyed this please don't forget to follow my channel uh, there's lots more different tutorials and videos coming up throughout this year